Hey everybody, I'm in the meat cooler of my workplace here. I got about a couple of minutes before I uh, do the next task in here. But before I do, I'm going to read everybody a statement issued by TikTok not too long ago in regards to that 13 year old boy from Ohio who sadly perished after being on a ventilator for about five to six days due to the boy swallowing mass quantities of the drug Benadryl. This was part of what was called the Benadryl Challenge that was trending on TikTok, where they're challenged to uh, take mass quantities of this particular drug to either get high or experience hallucinations. And sadly, in the case of this boy, he ended up being on the ventilator for about uh, six days or more or less before eventually passing away. Now, TikTok issued this statement I'm going to read for you right now. Quote, unquote, our deepest sympathies go out to the family. At TikTok, we strictly prohibit and remove content that promotes dangerous behavior with the safety of our community as a priority. We have never seen this kind of content trend on our platform and have blocked searches for years to help disencourage copycat behavior. Our team of 40,000 safety professionals works to remove violations of our community guidelines. And we encourage our community to report any content or accounts they are concerned about. Now, with that being said, whether uh, all the other social media platforms like Twitter, Instagram, if they're going to start following this, is up in the air at the moment there. Now, I'm going to say this, and I said this before a few years back, to anybody that gets issued this challenge to do something here that they know is uncomfortable that they know is going to cause some harm in the long run. If you get a request by somebody to uh, do this deed or uh, say that there, and you know it's wrong, you know there's going to be bad consequences, don't do it. Do not do it. Chances are you end up looking like a fool and everybody else who encourage you will be laughing at you. Ha ha ha, look at him. He fell into the trap. We've seen this scenario happen many times before. And we don't need it happening again. If they try to peer pressure you into doing this a particular thing there, ignore it. Rub it off. Flick it off your shoulder. You know, you don't want to be uh, one of the mass amounts of casualties that uh, ended up getting burned as a result from whichever challenge they try to throw in your face. You know, whether it's being asked to twerk for somebody or being asked to uh, hold up a bank with a toy gun or whichever thing they try to get you to do, ignore it if it's uncomfortable to you and then we'll move on from there. All right, that's all I ask everybody watching this video and on these other social platforms, social media platforms, I should say there, my bad. That's all I ask. In the meantime, like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell. You guys enjoy the rest of your money. Bye-bye.